Hello and welcome to my kiln reveal video number three. This is the third one. It is September 16th, 2024? 15th, 16th? I don't know dates anymore because I work from home and it doesn't even matter. Okay, so um, in this kiln is all stuff that I made. But it's not going to be the most interesting because it's mostly the same thing. There is 35 orange kittens in there, orange kitten mugs with aqua um, insides. And then there's a couple other things, but nothing like, I think that much different. So we're just going to check that the 35 orange kittens are a-okay. So let's see. Okay, I'm not gonna look, I'm not gonna look, I'm not gonna look, I'm not gonna look. Uh, and I'm gonna put this. Oh, okay, gotta look. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> Alright, so the top shelf. Oh, oh, oh. Whew. The top shelf. Um, so these are the cones. This is a five, this is a six. This is almost perfect. It could have bent a little more, but the top shelf is always a little cooler than the bottom. So this is actually pretty good for the top shelf. It's higher than a five, almost a perfect six. Maybe like five and a half, five and three quarters or something, but that's fine, it's good. Okay, so before the kitten mugs, um, I have these two cat containers. I call them stuff and things containers because they're not mugs, they're cats with little feet and I made them pink. One of the pinks I thought was going to fade, but it didn't, so let's see. So this one I knew the pink would work. Oh, you're so cute, stuffing things. There was a slight crack here, but it's not really a big deal. The glaze kind of covered it. The feet, I put little feet on it too, look at that. Oh, so adorable. Okay, the other one that I thought was going to fade, but didn't, this one, it just like made cool runny streaks. This is a glaze that's usually meant for a lower firing, but oh my gosh, this is cool. Hey, oh, the little feet too. <laughs> Stuff and things. His eyes are so big. It's like, he's like. <gasps> okay, now the orange kittens, I just have a bunch of them and they look good. Good orange kittens. Now I just have to take out 35 of these. I think I have a couple other little, like four other things that are slightly different, but it's mostly just this and they look good. Before I take out the rest of the cats on the second shelf, there was a few different things. So let me show you. Um, let's see, I have these two little pink kittens. This one I put glossy glaze on and this one I just kept bare except for the eyes and nose. So, they both look cute. I don't know, it depends on if you like the feel of clay or the feel of glaze, but they look good. They're really cute. They're smaller than the other kittens. I was testing out the darker orange and it's still just too dark. I just, eh. And then I made a couple more. I just got done with these. I made these like a year ago and I finally glazed the insides and I was like, oh, I don't wanna make these again. I'm just gonna fire these too. And they're tiny, tiny kittens. They're like the newborns. Okay, now let's take out all of the orange kittens. my kiln unloading for today. As you can see, the orange kittens have taken over. They are truly an army. And there's even 26 of them more like done over there. So there is a lot. I can't wait to make more things. And I think the favorite thing from this kiln unloading is this runny confetti kitty with the wide eyes. Uh, but if you'd like to, you know, like purchase something from me, you can go to my Etsy and see what I have for sale. The link is probably somewhere below or, or something like that. But until next time, have a great day. Have a great weekend. Have a great week. Have a great month. Whatever you're doing, have a great one. Bye.